Hi guys, this is Janelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today, mag-aaral tayo ng opening traps. Sisimulan natin ngayon sa uh, opening traps for black against the Trompovsky opening. So ang Trompovsky opening, characterized siya by playing uh, d4, knight f6, and here, bishop to g5. So this is a very tricky sideline. Kailangan... Itong, itong traps na ipapakita ko sa inyo, actually, very useful siya sa mga shorter time controls, katulad ng, for example, blitz, naglalara tayo ng blitz, or rapid. So, uh, hindi, hindi ko sinasabing, ano to, pag napag-aralan natin, perfect na, panalo na lahat. I mean, useful tong mga ganitong klaseng tricks and traps, kasi pwedeng-pwede nyo siyang magamit, especially ngayon na we are all under quarantine. So, kadalasan sa inyo, naglalaro tayo ng mga online chess. So, pwede-pwede nyo magamit yung mga ganitong klaseng tricks and ideas. So, for example, um, after uh, bishop to g5, uh, ito'y papakita ko, no? three moves lang nag-resign yung white. No? Because after c6, tumira siya ng carelessly ng e3, and then, bang, queen a5 check, tapos keyword yung bishop sa g5, and under check siya sa e1. So, that's it. And next is, for example, after d4, balitin natin, d4, knight f6. So, yun yung isang, isang position wherein nag-resign yung black yung white ng after 3 moves. Ito naman, mapapakita ko ulit. D4, knight f6, bishop to g5. After knight e4, dalawa yung tira, no? Dalawa or tatlo. Meron bishop to f4, kadalasan umatras dyan, or bishop to h4, or even sometimes h4. And here, sa isang line na ipapakita ko, after knight to e4, tumira yung white ng h4. And here, uh, d5, knight to d2, challenging the knight on e4. And here, queen to d6 with a very nasty threat. After c3, medyo careless yan. Natirahan siya ng good move, which is knight to g3. Because, for example, kaina na fg3 yan, queen g3 mate. Yun yung pinaka-idea niya, no? So, after knight to g3, actually, here, nangyari na sa totoong laro, and white resigned. Thinking na after rook to h2, mayroong discovered attack sa rook by playing knight to e2, no? So, yan. After that, uh, akala niya kasi after knight e2, queen takes h2, uh, exchange down na siya, no? Plus one pawn down, but di niya nakita na for white, meron din siyang counter, counter trap, which is to play knight to g3, and then at one point to play knight to f3, makukulong yung queen sa h2. Therefore, after uh, knight to g3, kailangan force yung rook h2. Ang tamang tira for black is to play h6, and after h6, aatras yan naturalmente sa bishop to e3 para hindi maiwasan makain. And after knight to f1, yes, atakado pa rin yung uh, h2. Pero, madedepensahan naman by playing knight takes f1. And here, although nadepensahan yung threat sa h2, uh, black is better, definitely. Kasi, unang-una, nag-waste siya ng time, ng tempo. At the same time, nawala yung two bishops niya. No? Nakain ka agad yung, kabay sa, ay, yung bishop sa f1. And black can just simply develop by playing uh, knight to c6, bishop to f5, and even castling queenside. So black is a lot better in this kind of position. So, tandaan natin yung mga ganong klaseng uh, tricks. So balikan ulit natin sa main position. After d4, knight f6, bishop to g5, and here tumira naman ng knight to e4. After knight to e4, umatras naman siya to bishop to h4. Uh, madalas ako nakakita ng ganitong position, so... Um, guys, please focus. After knight, bishop h4, ang usual na uh, tira dyan ay dalawa lang. d5 or c5. But here, dito sa lecture nating um, traps, ang tira ng black ay c5. And after c5, pina ls ng f3. Uh, after f3, bumalik na knight to d6. And here, na-blunder din yung, yung white by playing d5. And an interesting maneuver ay queen to b6 ina atake yung b2, and at the same time, for example, carelessly dinipensahan ulit yung b2 by playing something like b3. Taraan, meron ulit tayong tinatawag na skewer. Same idea kanina, no? Pwede, yan, makakain yung, yung bishop sa h4. So, yeah, ganong klase yung mga tricks and traps. So, balik ulit tayo, d4, knight to f6, bishop to g5, after uh, bishop to g5, Tumira ulit ng knight to e4. Sorry, after knight to e4. 
umatras naman siya sa F4, bishop to F4, D5, and after D5, E3, bishop to F5 naman. And here, for example, nangyari na rin to sa akin sa totoong buhay, my opponent played uh, C4, which is very, very careless, kasi meron, merong E5 ngayon na, intending bishop B4 check, and at the same time, attacking the bishop on F4. So after E5, kumain D5, Sorry, after d e5, or pwede rin bishop takes e5, no? But then, it doesn't uh, change the position because after bishop b4 check, yes, hindi ka nga nakakain ng pawn or material, but ang pinaka problema niya dito actually is itong uh, king sa e2 because very much misplaced na siya. At the same time, wala na, nawala yung kanyang castling rights. Nasa gitna na yan forever. So, after king to e2, good move, queen to h4, attacking the, the f2 pawn, no? Yung pinaka vulnerable uh, square sa white f2 so after queen h4 tumira ng g3 naturally to defend the f2 pero may queen h5 check continuous bombing f3 depensa and as what i've told you before the best attack is the best defense is to counter attack so knight to c6 hindi natin papansinin yan and after something like bishop to g2 pwedeng kumain knight takes e5 and here Black is just so, so winning because pwede mag-castle dito sa queen side or pwede mag-castle dito sa king side. Depende sa choice niya, no? So, for example, knight e5, check siya, no? Counter check, queen a4 check. Para uh, atakado rin yung, yung b4. Babalik lang pala. And after bumalik, for example, cd5, merong interesting move, knight to c5. Because after knight c5, pag kinain yan, Merong bishop d3, check, king d5, queen d5, and queen to c5. So, very, very winning for black. Actually, nag-sacrifice yung black dito, no? Pero, yung king ng, ng, black, ng white ay very, in a very fragile position. Pwedeng, pwedeng pwede siya mamate. So, for example lang, umatras siya sa king to, let's say, e2. After king to e2, may ganito ring trick, no? Queen c4, check. King, e King F2 and Bishop E1. So, yeah. Balikan natin ulit. Balik tayo sa gintong positions from our stem game. D4, Knight F6, Bishop to G5. D4, Knight F6, Bishop to G5. Knight to E4. And kanina, pinakita natin yung tira na H4. Bishop to H4. Ngayon naman, Bishop to F4. Yung kaninang variation. D5. E3, bishop to f5, and a careless move na madalas din na ititira, especially sa mga shorter time control, c4. E5, good move. And here, for example, hindi na siya kumain ng bishop, instead kumain siya ng pawn. D takes e5. Yun pa rin, our main idea is to bring our bishop into the attack. Bishop b4 check. King e2, wala na siyang castling. Queen h4 pa rin, same idea, attacking the weak square on f2. So, queen h4, g3, queen h5 check, f3, to cover the attack on the diagonal. I'm sorry. So, after that, dc4. Pag, for example, trinay niyang e4, no, attacking, uh, for example, the bishop on f5 and queen on h5 after g4. Queen h4 lang, renewing the threat on the f2. Kasi, Bakit hindi niya makain yan? For example, kinain niya yan. Meron kasing check. And after something like knight f3, bishop f3, king f3, mayroong queen h5, tinatawag natin um, skewer, makakain ulit yung queen sa d1. Another tactics. So, for example, uh, balikan natin yung position after queen to h4. For example, uh, depensahan niya yung atake sa f2 by playing knight to h3. Obviously, depensado yung, yung f2 ngayon. Pero, after knight to h3, may counter-attack, bishop g4. And, for example, queen to a4 check, knight to c6. Pag tumira ng bishop to g3, merong queen to h5, uh, putting so much pressure sa f3. And here, good for uh, resignation na yung... yung white dito. Kasi, for example, depensahan niya pa. Mm, like, bishop to g2. 
kakainin lang, kain, and after bishop takes h3, queen h3, and resign. Okay? Alright. And, yep. That shows our uh, different tricks and traps sa uh, uh, Trompovsky. And, by the way, ito pa. Meron pa palang isa, no? d4, knight of 6, bishop to g5, knight so after uh, d4, knight f6, bishop to g5, knight to e4, to meet our lip ng bishop to, to h4, c5, and kanina, nakita natin to meet ng f3, no? to meet ng f3 kanina, but now, what if to meet naman siya ng queen to d3? There's a fantastic way to exploit. This kind of blunder. Blunder to na queen to d3, no? Kasi ang idea niya sana is to attack... I'm sorry. Ang idea niya is to attack the knight in the e4 square and that one point to play e4 kagad, knight c3, and maybe cast, even castling queen side. Pero, after queen to d3, mayroong nice trick, no? Black can play queen to b6. And after queen b6, syempre, atakado ang b2. So, dedepensahan niyan. Like, for example, nag b3. Double exclamation point to play queen take two h6, attacking both uh, h4 and the uh, c1 square. Kita niya yan, merong trick dyan. So, uh, syempre dal atakado yung uh, h4, kailangan depensa niya. So, knight to f3. And after knight to f3, queen to c1 check. Mate na sana, kaya na may pang, may pang harang pa. So, queen to d1, queen to b2. Now, attacking another. Uh, piece in group naman sa a1 so knight to d2 porsado kainin and here porsado rin na kabayo ang ipang kain knight to d2 and after unless gusto mo king right pwede rin naman king pero kakain lang sa cd4 and may threatening mate may threatening check na naman sa queen c3 so porsado kabayo so after knight d4 queen d4 one pawn down ang ang um, white so if you can see the maneuvers after queen to b6, inatake ang b2, and then biglang bang, may threat pala sa h6, napunta siya dito sa c1, and then yun, queen b2, and queen d4. Wow. So what a trick and trap by black. You know guys, and I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. So just to make sure that you've watched my video until the very end, uh, ipapakita ko ngayon sa last position natin yung isa sa mga traps and tricks na nabanggit ko sa aking tutorial video na ito. So, black to move and wins. Ano kaya ang tinira ng black, ng black dito? So if you know the answer, comment down below.